to only suppose this is these are the two terminals of that element the current will flow only from left to right okay the current will not flow from left to right can you name some element where in that element the current will flow in one direction only give me an example give me one example where the current will flow in one direction only yes tell me suprasad tell me suprasad yes 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 ma'am mm, tell yes name an element where the current will flow in one direction only quick ashutosh tell me roll number 780 Yes, tell. I'm a PN junction diode. Uh, a diode is a diode. If you'll take, this is these are the two terminals of the diode. This is anode. This one is cathode, right? So here, in this case, in the diode, will only conduct when it is forward biased. Forward biased means what? When you are giving anode positive, cathode negative, then only the current will flow. okay suppose you are giving it the reverse that means if you are uh, 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 giving cathode uh, positive with respect to anode then the current will not flow current never flows from cathode to anode okay but current will always flow from anode to cathode so this element is an unilateral element am i clear to all of you asutosh am i clear those will not respond in the class i will yes, i will cut five class absent arpit you understood yes ma'am okay so unilateral element is that whose properties or characteristics whose properties or characteristics change with the direction of its op operation that means if you are giving here suppose i am giving this one positive this one negative current will flow if i will change the polarity of the voltage if i am giving this one anode negative cathode positive then the current will current will flow in this case but current will not flow in this case am i clear to each one of you yes am i clear yes, okay so here the definition of the unilateral circuit write down it is that circuit it is that circuit whose properties or characteristics whose properties or characteristics change with the change with the direction of operation direction of operation okay so for example this one now come to the bilateral circuit what do you mean by bilateral circuit no one should write in between the class who has written ma'am i am present once i have started teaching all of you write down what i am writing after the class i will see who is present who is absent in between those will write in the group i will cut five plus absent remember okay ma'am can so you show the diagram uh, on the top ma'am can you again little bit this one yes ma'am this one yes ma'am so here in the case of diode only the current will is flowing from anode to cathode so as the name is bilateral circuit bilateral means the current will flow in both the direction okay the current can flow in both the direction that means these properties or characteristics of the circuit do not change with the direction of the operation okay for Thank example you. for example i am taking a resistor simple resistor i am taking okay suppose i am giving here 5 volt here i am providing 5 volt then my current will flow here in this direction the current will flow right 
suppose i will change the polarity of the voltage i will change the polarity of the voltage as i've done in case of a diode the current was not flowing in the other direction that means from right to left the current was not flowing whereas here i'm changing the polarity of the voltage 5 volt but right one is positive left one is negative here left one is positive right one was negative so current is not current will flow in this it will start from higher potential and it will enter into the lower potential and the value of the current will also same suppose here one ampere current is flowing here also one ampere current will flow understood current will flow from left to right in the element here also from right right to left in the element so this is known as a bilateral element okay so what is how you define a define uh, a bilateral circuit it is that circuit which properties or characteristics do not change with the uh, direction of operation okay so it is write down it is that circuit it is that circuit whose properties or characteristics whose properties or characteristic do not change do not change with the direction of operation am i clear to all of you yes ma'am okay yes ma'am you will tell me other to another one example of uh, unilateral circuit another one is example of bilateral circuit okay this is for your homework you will find out and tell me <coughs> ma'am uh, repeat the question ma'am okay i told you you i have told you one element bilateral unilateral element that is diode another one element bilateral element i have given you that is resistor you will find out you will tell me in the next class another unilateral element another bilateral element okay this is for your homework write down in your copy so now this all the terminology is over so many terms i have uh, told you so those terms we will come across while analyzing a dc circuit now all of you got it or not is there any doubt tell me analysis of dc circuit all of you understood or not tell me yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am don't feel shy while asking so many students are there more than 95 so don't feel shy don't think what he or think she will think if i will ask a simple silly question silly question should be clear here only okay so now come to the analysis of dc circuit so there are different ways or the different uh, theorems we will or different laws where we can analyze a dc circuit so first one is mass loop current or maxwells mass loop current or maxwells loop analysis second one is node voltage method node voltage analysis node voltage method or we also call as nodal analysis third one is superposition theorem third one is superposition theorem next one is thevenin's theorem thevenin's theorem next one is norton's theorem last one is star delta transformation 
स्टार टू डेल्टा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और स्टार डेल्टा और डेल्टा टू स्टार ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो दीज आर द सिक्स वेज इन विच यू कैन एनालाइज ए डीसी सर्किट देर आर अदर थियोरम्स बट इन योर कोर्स ओनली सिक्स analysis methods are there so first we will discuss the first one is your mesh loop current method or maxwell's loop analysis okay so first method is maxwell's loop analysis or in short we call it as mesh analysis okay here you will get problems <coughs> now listen here carefully suppose i am taking a all of you have written all the methods yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am very good so i will take a simple circuit i will take i will take a simple circuit where these are the resistors two voltage source i have taken or two emf source i have taken this is e1 this one is e2 this one is r1 this one is r2 this one is r3 another two resistors also i will take this one is <coughs> r4 this one is r5 okay now here i will tell you some steps in order to use this mesh analysis how will you use mesh analysis to solve this circuit now to solve this circuit means what you will solve this circuit by using this analysis means what you do not know what is the current flowing in this resistance r1 what is the current flowing in r2 what is the current flowing in r3 r4 r5 okay you don't know similarly suppose i will ask you what is the current what is the potential difference across r4 what is the potential difference across r5 what is the potential difference across r3 okay so how will you find out suppose i can find out what is the current flowing in r1 i can i can find out what is the potential difference across r1 because a resistance is known to you by using ohm's law you can find out if you know the value of the current you can find out what is the potential difference across r1 so you can completely analyze the circuit if you know the different branch currents or if you know the potential difference across each resistors okay so in order to find out the uh, or in order to analyze the dc circuit we are using these types all these types of analysis of theorems we are using okay so now coming to this first mesh analysis i will tell you some steps you will follow the, all the steps and all the steps you should do while uh, you are solving this uh, uh, dc circuit in your exam or do all the steps okay so first step is you will identify how many mesh are there i have told you what is the definition of mesh you identify how many mesh are there okay this is your first step so now for this circuit you tell me how many mesh are there you will consider only the mesh not the loop okay loop mesh is the elementary form of the loop you have to consider all the mesh mesh is definitely a loop okay but you have to you will not take the loop rather you will take the mesh okay tell me how many mesh are there um 3 3 3 mesh are there so first Sorry. identify second step is name the mesh second step is name the mesh so i will name the mesh one here mesh two this one is mesh three three mesh are there third step is you will assign assign current in assign current in all the mesh okay you do not know what is the current flowing in the mesh you will assign current in all the mesh taking current in clockwise direction 
okay this is the convention you will not ask me why you are taking clockwise direction you have you will take you have to take okay it's not that you will take in anti clockwise direction and solve you will not get the correct answer it's not like that but conventionally we are assuming you assume current in all ways or assign current in all ways and take the current flowing in which direction clockwise clockwise direction so i will here just wait one second yes so uh, we will assign the current in different ways this one you take it as i1 take the variable i1 this is i2 i do not know i don't have any information about i1 i2 and i3 i have to find out what is the value of i1 i2 and i3 okay this is your third step fourth step is fourth step is using kirchhoff's voltage law and sign convention you have already read the sign convention i have told you the sign convention you know the kirchhoff's voltage law using kvl kirchhoff's voltage law and sign convention write mass equations there are three mass so you have to write three equations okay number 5 this is your number four step number four step is you will use kirchhoff's voltage law using sign convention write the mass equation am i clear to all of you is there any doubt tell me yes no ma'am hmm? no ma'am no, no, okay no ma'am so now come to the last step is fifth step is solve the mass equations so here i will tell you if there are m number of n number of mass are there so you will write down n number of equations okay last step is solve the mass equations solve the mass equations i have told you that solving equations will not give you any mark okay so better use scientific calculator don't waste time in solving the equation write the mass equations put the coefficients of the uh, variables in the calculator scientific calculator there the syntax is there so you put directly will get the value of the variable using the scientific calculator don't use the elimination method substitution method and find out the equation okay ultimately maybe where you will do somewhere wrong you will get a wrong answer and that too that will be a waste of time don't use okay solving equation will not give you any mark so solve the mesh equations okay now after solving the mesh equations what you will get you will get the value of the variables which you have taken or the value of the mesh current i1 i2 i3 okay so solve the last step is solve the mesh equations to get mesh current am i clear all the steps these steps you should follow very strictly okay writing the mesh equation is very very important how you are writing the mesh equation am i clear to all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am yes arpit am i clear arpit anurag arpit yes ma'am i'm clear ma'am okay sudipta jena 756 yes ma'am clear ma'am sayan chattopadhyay are you clear sayan 748 your roll number 748 absent sivam 749 present ma'am clear ma'am 742 samridhi clear yes ma'am yes ma'am oh, very good i'm sign chat isme hai ma'am wait okay okay so now you will write the mesh equations now tell me so how many mesh are there three mesh are there you tell me using kirchhoff's voltage law use the sign convention tell me what are the mesh equations mesh 1 tell me what is the equation start from this when you are writing the equation your starting and ending points should be equal okay you start from this point end at this point so how will you write down the mass equation tell me so here you will start from this point so it will be current you are traveling from this point to this point you are you have taken the current in clockwise direction 
so while writing the equation you also take the equations in clockwise so i am traveling i am moving in the same direction as that of the resistance so it will be how much minus i1 into listen to my look at my board first then you will note down okay don't just uh, note it down whatever i am writing understand first then you note it so minus i1 into r1 then here you see one thing i1 this is a common branch which is common to both the maze i1 uh, so maze 1 as well as maze 2 so when you are taking a common branch which is a common to two different maze then this current which is flowing in the common branch this will be an equation of these two maze okay what it all of you so what will be the current in this particular branch this is the common branch so i1 is flowing in the maze 1 i2 is flowing in the maze 2 so i1 is flowing in the clockwise direction that means this is i1 this i2 is flowing in the clock, uh, clockwise direction so i2 is flowing in this direction so what will be the this will be i1 this is i2 so what will be the current in the common branch tell me it is going downward i1 I, it, it I is i1 minus i2, I2. I2. you have to take you have to, i am taking the current in the clockwise direction right so while writing the maze equation it will be minus i1 r1 then what will be equation tell me i am traveling in the clockwise direction right so it will be minus how much i1 minus i1 minus i2, I1 minus I2. 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 very good I2. into r4. r4 then then plus e1 will be equal to zero i am moving from lower potential to higher potential i did not to see the direction of the current i have told you while using sign convention while moving in a battery you will see whether you are traveling from lower potential to higher potential or higher potential to lower potential, irrespective of the direction of the current. Okay. So this is the equation one. Am I clear with equation one? Is there any doubt? Tell me. No, ma'am. Yeah. Chetna, am I clear? Chabi, Chetna, Pallavi? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Another Pallavi? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Priyesh, am I clear? Yes, ma'am, clear. Okay, so now come to MACE 2. MACE 2. <clears throat> MACE 2, tell me what is the equation? Minus I2 minus. into R2, then? Ma'am, uh, minus, uh, minus I2 how much? Minus R2. What will be the current here? This is I2, I2 minus, minus I3. I3. Minus I2 minus I3 into r3 uh, sorry i2 minus, minus i3 into r5 then tell me then mm, quick tell negative, negative. Um, uh, see here i am telling you one thing i don't know whether i1 is more or i2 is more if i1 is greater than i2 listen to me carefully if i1 is greater than i2 the current will flow downward <laughs> If I2 is greater than I1, the current will flow upward. I don't have any information, so that's why I have taken the variables. So if you are traveling in clockwise direction, you take the current in clockwise direction, then you have to put a minus sign. If you are taking the current in opposite direction, then you have to take it a plus sign, right, simply. So here I1 minus I2 is flowing in the downward direction. And here, what is the current in the upward direction? I2 minus I1. Am I clear to all of you or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what will be my equation? So, I2 minus I3 into 4 R5. Then I can write minus how plus much? I3 minus R3. I2 minus I1 into R4, R4 is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Or else I can also write the equation as minus I2 R2 minus i2 minus i3 into r5 if i will put a plus sign then i have to i am traveling in the clockwise direction if plus sign when i will take when i will take opposite to me okay if i'm traveling clockwise direction if i'm taking the opposite current so that means i can write down i1 minus i2 into r4 is equal to zero same equation am i clear to each one of you yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma
Suprasad understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now come to the maze three. Samudra Neel, you will tell me what is the maze equation three. Tell. <coughs> Hmm. Samudra Neel, tell me, absent. Ritika, tell me. Ritika Singh. Yes, ma'am. Uh, tell what is the equation? May three equation tell. Let it be wrong, no issues. Let let us see how you are writing the equation. Tell me. Quick. Ritika, tell me the equation, Mace 3. You understood Mace 1 and Mace 2? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no. I'm getting it. No, no. Well. Ritika, what are you doing? If you have I'm understood not. Mace 1 and... No, don't tell me all those things. What? What happened? It, it, it is clearly ma understandable that you are not uh, at all listening to the in the class. Ma'am, I was listening. Then why you are unable to tell me three question? You understood Ms. 1 and Ms. 2 and you are unable to write uh, tell me Ms. 3 question? Repeatedly, I have told you all these things. Don't, don't do all these things in class. Automatically, you are reducing your marks. Sorry, ma'am. Don't tell sorry. Sorry, what you are telling, this is not acceptable. Okay. In the class, you will not be sincere and you will tell sorry, which will not at acceptable at all. Yes. What is the mass equation? Mass 3. Mass 3 then equation will be... Minus, minus, minus I3. I3, 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 I
रितवंकर आर यू राइटिंग रितवंकर आकाश आचार्य आकाश रोल नंबर सेवन दीपंजन दीपंजन कामिला एट फिफ्टी थ्री एब्सेंट दीपंजन इज एब्सेंट टुडे आर्यक महंती एट सिक्सटी एट राइटिंग यस मैम वैष्णवी यस मैम भव्या प्रियदर्शिनी यस मैम राइटिंग ओके यस टेल मी हाउ मेनी मेस आर देयर टेल मी मैम थ्री 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 मेस आर देयर सो व्हाट इज योर फर्स्ट स्टेप नेम द मेस नेम द मेस मैम आई टू वन टू थ्री देन what you have to do assign currents in each maze in clockwise direction yes, this one is i1 this one is i2, I2. this uh-huh. one is i3 amish are you writing or not yes ma'am okay okay so uh, now tell me what will be the maze equations e1 minus i r1 maze 1 maze 1 E1 minus. Will be the equation E1. Very good. Minus I1 R1. Minus 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 I1 minus I3 R3. I3 into R3. Three. Very good. R3 minus I1 minus I3 minus I2 R2. I. Ha 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 ha. Who tell I1 minus I1 minus I I do. Then I2 I1 minus I3 minus I2. I one minus I three minus I two. I two. And R two multiply by R two. Into R two. Yes, sir. Then that will be I one minus I two. I am telling you. I am telling you. You are having a confusion. When three maps are there, which are all linked, so here it will be I one minus I two into R two will be equal to zero. Equal to zero. Yes, sir. I one minus. No, no. Those who those who are confused. I will, I, I will tell you. I will tell you. Write down. Tell me the equation. Miss two. What is the equation? We were writing that. Yes. Here you see one. I will tell you one easy method. How you write down the mass equation? Just by looking at the network, you can write down the mass equation. Look at here. I am telling you. When you are writing the equation, there will be a confusion when you are taking a common branch. There will be a confusion when you are taking it. This is a common branch. You are confused. Am I clear? Am I correct or not? Tell me. When you are taking a common branch, what will be the current you will take? You are taking and you are traveling in a clockwise direction. So when you are writing the equation for R two for the resistance R two, the current will be always when you are writing the equation for mass one, you will take first this current. Minus the other mass which is connected to the resistance R two. Am I clear? Or once again, I will tell you. If I am writing the equation again, I am telling you. Listen carefully. When I am writing for the mass one, then if I am taking a common mass, suppose I am taking the R three, then I am writing the mass equation for mass one. so it will be if i am taking r3 then i will write down first this current then the other mass current which is common to this r3 resistance am i clear now am i clear now am i clear now or not tell me yes ma'am please tell yes ma'am all of you are clear those me ek bar aur bata dijiye All not able to understand. Please tell me. Please tell me. You tell yes, me ma'am. a number of times. I will explain. Okay. Don't yes, worry. Ma'am. Please tell once. Yes. Ma'am. So when you are writing the equation, it is this one is clear, right? When you are writing the equation for R one, it is minus I one into R one because this is an uncommon mass. When you are taking a uh, uncommon uh, uh, branch, if when you are taking a common branch, then when you are writing the equation for this resistance. Drop voltage drop across this resistance. This will be equal to. You have to see for which mass you are writing. Mass one you are writing. So you will take 
past I1 because I1 is uh, flowing in the mesh one. So which mesh you are writing first you see, then I1 minus whichever is connected, R3 is connected to which mesh you see. That is connected to the mesh three. So I1 minus I3 you have to put. Am I clear now? Am I clear yes, now? Yes, ma'am. Similarly, when you are writing for R2, R2, what will be uh, the equation of the current? It will be I1 because I'm I writing the equation for I2. I1 minus I3. Similarly, whatever I've explained you, you tell me what is the equation for MACE2. Tell me what is the equation for MACE2. Just I, what I have told you, E2. accordingly you are right. E2? Yes. Minus E2, I2 minus I1 into R2. Very good. Minus I2 minus I1 into R2. Then R5. Minus I2 minus R2. I2 yes. minus I2 you have to, R2. MACE2 means always I2 minus I2 the minus other I2. I2. I2 minus I3 into R5. Then minus I2 R4. Minus, minus I2 R4, 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 R4 very very good then mes 3 and minus e3 minus e3 okay minus i3 r7 minus i3 r7 minus, minus, minus i3 I don't put plus you write down minus na? minus how much minus i2 minus i3 into r5 you will not write i2 you will not write you are writing the equation for mes 3 Yes, you are writing I for me. Minus I3 minus I2 into R5. Minus I3 minus I1 into R3. Minus I3 R6. Minus I3 R6. Minus I3 R6. R6. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. This one is. How much? Minus I3. Minus I3. Minus I3. Into R6. 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 Okay. Now you are clear. How will you write down the mesh equation? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All of yes, you are clear. Easily, yes, how will you write down the equation? Now I will give you a, with values I will give you, you will solve the equation. You find out the calculator. Find the mesh current find the mesh current this one is 5 ohm 4 ohm this one is 5 volt 8 ohm this one is टर नहीं होगा तो कैलकुलेशन यू कैन नॉट डू इन एग्जाम इट विल बी इट विल टेक मच टाइम एलिमिनेशन मेथड सब्सटीट्यूशन मेथड वो बहुत यू विल गेट यू विल टेक मच टाइम एंड ऑन फाइनली यूल गेट अंग आंसर ओके फोन से नहीं हो जाएगा फोन से कर सकते हो तो हो जाएगा हाँ हो जाएगा करो जल्दी करो क्विकली फाइव मिनट का वैल्यू आपने नहीं आई वैल्यू नहीं किया किसका वैल्यू नो नो वैल्यू आई निकाल रहा है हाँ एनालाइज करो मेस करेंट से यू आप रजिस्टर का मैम छोड़ दिया मैम फाइव वोल्ट के ऊपर ओहो अच्छा अच्छा सॉरी सॉरी दिस इज टू Write the mass equation. Mass current. Write down. Uh, equations. Write down and tell me.
tell me equations complete ma'am one is complete yes ma'am you no need to solve no need to solve just tell no, me i want i want five just wait one this is two this is three i will give the current as i1 this one is i2 this one is your i3 so you tell me what is the equation for mes 2 sorry mes 1 yes i1 minus i2 into 3 minus 5 plus 2 I two into three minus five minus plus five. plus twenty. Very. Okay. Okay. Minus two. Then. Um, minus four I two minus plus five. Two. Very good. Plus five. Plus, plus five. Minus I two minus I three. I two minus I three. I two minus I three. I three minus five plus five. Minus five plus five. Minus minus plus five plus five plus five minus five. Why minus five? Plus five. Why minus five? I am traveling in lower lower potential to high potential. Okay. कहाँ तुम लोग गलत कर रहे हो? Minus क्यों होगा? कहाँ पर minus होगा? No ma'am नहीं होगा. अब होगा minus minus I two minus. Minus three I two. Minus I two. No those who are confused with minus five and plus five, I am telling to you. ये तो हर हर जगह पे तो प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव अंडरस्टूड और नॉट ऑल ऑफ यू यस माइनस आई टू माइनस थ्री टू आई हैव टोल्ड यू यू विल नॉट सी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करेंट व्हाइल टेकिंग इन अ बैटरी यू सी व्हेदर यू आर ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम लोअर टू हायर और हायर टू लोअर सिंपल नॉट नीड टू से द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करेंट माइनस थ्री इनटू माइनस आई वन आई टू माइनस आई टू माइनस आई वन ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड और नॉट टेल मी Still, yes, I got a wrong, some wrong answer from you yes. about uh, that battery. Battery, I have repeatedly told you, no need to see the direction of the current. Then tell me. Oh, yeah. Minus eight, minus eight, minus eight, minus eight, minus eight into I three, I three, then minus thirty, minus thirty, minus five, minus five, minus five, minus two, I three, minus I minus I three, minus I two. Minus five minus minus two into how much? Minus three minus I two equal to zero. What we tell of you? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do anyone who are who didn't understood tell me? मत सोचो कि हाँ ये कहाँ पर समझ में नहीं आया बात में पूछ लेंगे दो से ना वो वाला जो लास्ट में उसको प्लस टू इंटू आई टू माइनस आई थ्री भी तो लिख सकते हैं और डायरेक्शन हाँ हाँ ओके मैम ले सकते हैं ले सकते हैं प्लस टू इंटू आई टू माइनस आई थ्री ले सकते हैं ओके ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड और नॉट इज देर एनी डाउट मैम जो उसके ऊपर वाले एग्जाम्पल में जिसमें आपने बोला की वो जो तीन सर्किट जहाँ पर होते हैं मैम आपको हाँ यस मैम वहां पर मैम आप बोल रही थी कि मतलब जहां से जाएगा उसको ही कंसीडर करेंगे जैसे टू से गया तो टू को कंसीडर करेंगे हम्म तो मैम वो वाला थोड़ा फिर से एक बार बोल देंगे कि वो वो वाला में थोड़ा कंफ्यूजन टू से मतलब देखो व्हेन यू आर राइटिंग द मेस टू फॉर मे सपोज यू आर राइटिंग द मे सपोज यू आर राइटिंग फॉर मेस 1 इक्वेशन मेस 1 यू यू r3 इज कनेक्टेड r2 इज आल्सो कनेक्टेड टू मेस 2 This is a common branch. This is a common branch. R two is a common branch. R three is also a common branch. So when you are taking a common branch, while find out finding the current in that common branch, what you have to pay? See, you have to see for which mesh you are writing. You are writing for mesh one, so you will take minus first the mesh one current you take I one minus I three. Understood or not? Yes, yes. Got it. Yes, Similarly, here you see I am writing for mes one. Here you see I have taken I one. I have taken I one. I am writing for mes two. I have taken I two. I have taken I two. Understood or not? For yes. common branch, I am taking. Yes, ma'am. Similarly, for I have taken yes. mes three. Yes, I have taken I three. I have taken I three. Okay, yes, this is the yes. easy process. I have to. I have told you. What it all of you? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Now come another method. I will tell you that is a matrix. You have you know how to solve matrix. Yeah, they have forgotten. Yes. Yeah, they have. 
yes okay so just tell me i have not uh, i don't have the equation you just tell me whatever the equation i have re uh, written for mace 1 mace 2 and mace 3 mace 1 what was the equation tell me e1 minus ir1 just wait yes uh, it was e1 minus i1 r1, r1. minus, r1. minus i1 minus i3 minus i3 r3 minus i3 into r3 minus i1 minus i2 minus i1 minus i2 r2 minus i2 equal to zero if i find out ma'am into r2 r2 yes into r2 is equal to zero if you find out the coefficients of i1 you will see r1 plus r2 plus r3 into i1 if you will rearrange this equation then minus r2 into i r uh, i2 minus i r3 into i3 is equal to e1 okay this is for mace 1 similarly i have written the mace 2 just you rearrange the mace 2 equation you will see that you are getting minus r2 into i1 sorry this is minus r2 into i1 plus this is also an easy method i am telling you r2 plus r3 uh, sorry r2 plus r4 plus r5 into r i2 then minus r5 into i3 is equal to is equal to e2 this one already i have written the equation here i have just found out what is the coefficients of the, all these variables okay what is the coefficient of i1 what is the coefficient of i2 what is the coefficient of i3 i have just rearranged it because i will put it in matrix form my aim is to put it in matrix form so mace 3 the equation will be if you will rearrange it will be minus r3 into i1 then minus r5 into i2 then plus r3 plus r5 plus r6 plus r7 all into i3 is equal to e3 is equal to e3 you got it what i have done it all of you got it or not tell me yes, what i have done. whatever equation i have previously found it out this one these three equation i have just rearranged this one this one and this one okay so if i will put all this in matrix form if i will put it in matrix form the matrix will be it will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 this will be minus r2 this will be minus r3 this will be minus r2 this will be r2 plus r4 plus r5 this will be minus r5 this will be minus r3 minus r5 and this will be plus this will be this will be plus r3 plus r5 plus r6 very good very very good r3 plus r5 plus r6 plus r7 then it is multiplied with what what are the variables i1 i1 i2 i3 is equal to how much Zero. is equal zero. to not zero. E one, E two, E three. Resistance into current is what? Voltage. E one, E two, E three. This one I have written in the matrix form. Okay. Got it, all of you? Yes, Just sir. I have rearranged the three mass equations. I have found out what is the coefficient of I one, coefficient of I two, coefficient of I three, and I have put it in the matrix form. This one will be equal to first one. This one. will be r11 this is r11 this one is r12 this one is r13 this one is r21 this is r22 this is r23 this is r31 r32 this is r33 this is called as ohm's law matrix because here you see this is resistance product of resistance and current is equal to voltage this matrix is called as ohm's law matrix 
so you have to arrange you have to find out the three mass equations and you will write it in matrix form okay now here here what i have done i have written the equation and then i have put it in the matrix form okay suppose it is a the matrix where you are having three maze how will you write down what is the value of r1 r1 is what you tell me what is r1 look at look at this one what is r1 tell me what is r1 r1 is look at the circuit r1 is the self resistance of maze one r1 is the self resistance of maze one you will just see the maze one whatever the resistance will be connected to maze one you just add it okay self resistance of maze one you will see maze one look at here maze one okay you look at the maze one whatever the resistance is connected to maze one r1 r3 and r2 are connected you will just add it got it all of, all of you got it got it or not can you repeat maze it one. r1 you will see the maze one listen carefully r1 you will see the maze one whatever resistance are connected to maze one you just add it clear yes clear who was asking yes, yes. similarly r22 is the self resistance of maze 2 r33 is the self resistance of maze 3 self resistance means you will see what are the resistance connected to mes one you will simply add it okay similarly r12 is equal to r21 it is always look at the uh, matrix you see r12 is equal to r21 this is equal to minus sum of all resistance connected to mes one and two sum of all resistance connected to mes 1 and 2 you are having class now one from from yes 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 ma'am yes, ma yes. Yes. yes just just one minute i am giving you i have taken the attendance i will so r12 is equal to r21 this is equal to minus sum of all resistance connected to mes 1 and 2 because r12 and r21 you are taking similarly you will take r13 is equal to r31 this is equal to Minus sum of all resistance connected to mes one and three. Okay. Similarly, last one R two three is equal to R three two. This is equal to minus sum of all resistance connected to which mes? Mes two and three. And three. Up to this, I am writing. I will again explain you in the next class. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. just you look at this today you go to the whatever i have given the equation and how i have written the mess uh, sorry matrix okay what are these resistance you just go through it next class i will explain okay ma'am okay yes okay, you can leave i have taken the attendance you can leave thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am